so it begins. It's groundhog season. PSA, it's just an airsoft gun. I was just finishing dinner. Went to put my plate in the sink and I noticed I saw a groundhog zooming across my backyard. And I knew that it was time. Season is here, I now have to hunt these suckers, catch them, get rid of them. They are terrible to have around. If you don't get rid of them, they will eat everything. Case in point. Look at that. That thing was nice and bushed out. Here's a couple right here. Gone. 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 That sucker did that in a matter of probably minutes. Probably while we were eating dinner, he was out here just chomping this down and he destroyed my uh, my leaf. My uh, leaf lettuce here and it was that cool lettuce that I got from in my gardener the uh, tree lettuce tree lettuce is all gone now I'm not happy <laughs> not happy at all about it so now I gotta go follow my live traps get all the live traps set up nice thing is though he passed up the kale usually he goes after the kale when they come in my yard so the passed up kale went after this tree lettuce so words of wisdom out there if you have tree lettuce and you planted it protect that stuff apparently they also like Malabar spinach look at this just bit that sucker right off little chunk of it strip this whole little vine right here off I tell you those things can do some destruction man so I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of my kale over here to try to trap one of them so the groundhogs they're here it's that time of year usually where I start seeing them out in my yard and they drive me mad. They do a ton of destruction and they eat just massive amounts of greens very quickly. So I have to get out here, set the traps, try to start getting them and start moving them away. While I was out here setting the trap, it kind of re reminded me of the story last year that I had. And I think it's kind of funny. Maybe some people might not find it funny, but I thought it was kind of funny. So last year I had the same kind of incident before the first groundhog that I saw. I was inside, I think I might have been doing something in the kitchen, and I was holding little baby Oz at the time. Just a little baby, you know, just a few months old when I came out here one day. So there I am, I turn around, I look out my big picture doors into my backyard, and I see them. That stupid, no good, groundhog so me naturally being like gotta protect the garden I barrel outside and I come over here he runs behind this garage right here you see it there is a corner over here that he's been digging under a tunnel to get back into the garden so it kind of sneaks in there you can't see him from the house because he's coming around the corner so I come barreling out of the house and I just Get close to the edge of the, the garage I slow down I start tiptoeing a little bit just a little bit of tiptoeing and I'm looking for him I don't see him anywhere and then all of a sudden I hear there's that sound he was running over here and he goes down into his hole now I'm ever at the corner of my garage and he's at the hole now, he jumped into it and you know what he did Yeah, that sucker popped back out of it and just stared at me. He was staring a hole in me. Like he was just like, you ain't gonna do nothing about it. Go on, get out of here so I can get back to eating. Well, <laughs> I did not take too kindly to that. So what I did instead was I 
grab this hatchet. Now see, I was out here cutting up some wood and I had actually set it on the rain barrel that's at that corner of the garage over there. And so, baby Oz, this hand, I know how this sounds and I do not ever suggest that you try this at home. I grab the hatchet with my non-dominant hand and I'm looking at that groundhog and he's looking at me and we're locked eyes. We are locked solid on the eyes, solid. He has no fear, he's not leaving and I'm ain't backing down for sure. This is my garden, I'm gonna protect it. So I take this hatchet and I give it a nice little right toward him and I kid you not, about that close. I was about that close to nailing that sucker. Luckily, he ducked down and hit the stone edge of the little patio box that I have there and he got away from me. Well, that little game lasted about a month of me trying to catch that sucker. But finally, I did win out. I caught him in one of these nice live traps here. So he was not harmed. After I caught him, I drove him out a long ways. There was nothing around me, a bunch of fields, and I let him go. And he got to go live his happy life. And so, But there was this moment of pure fury that I had when I saw him because I knew what he was out here doing was just destroying some of my garden. And I was so mad about it that I honestly thought I could all throw this hatchet and take care of this guy <laughs> and luckily uh, probably for the better I didn't actually hit him uh, I don't know if I scared him enough that he obviously came back because I caught him later on at least I think it was the same one but <laughs> I just thought that was kind of a funny uh, a funny uh, story it's like the madman coming outside wielding the hatchet trying to kill the stupid groundhog eating his garden I just imagine if my neighbors saw me like what they would have thought <laughs> All right, that's all I got for you. I gotta go get this thing, all the traps set up so I can catch this one. The war is on. You're going down, groundhogs. See you in the next one.